Listen up or run for cover. Bradley Bums. is dropping. Bums. I've got Patricia Fripp. Now, she's known as the presentation skills expert. And not only is she known that by most of her peers and colleagues, but she's also known that world around, worldwide. You've been helping people for, what, 25 years? Yes, I've been speaking for well over 30 years, delivered more than 3,000 presentations on, on five continents. And of course, now my focus is helping other people be powerful, persuasive presenters. Yes, and you do it quite well. I know that you've uh, given me a few tips as you've been in here <laughs> creating your, your, your virtual training system, which again, I, I, if you guys are listening, well, you're listening, obviously, but Here's what I would always here's what I always tell people about Ms. Fripp's course, like because you t mainly are teaching people who are going on stage and they're wanting to be persuaders and presenters in a professional fashion, so they have the confidence and the they know the right words and how to create the story. But every salesperson on earth, every entrepreneur on earth, in my opinion, every employee on earth that faces a customer should go through your content. I agree. And of course, we have two courses just focused specifically on sales presentations, what you say, what you don't say, and why you say it that way. Yeah, so I want to get into that. But sometimes, like I'll say, for example, you know, hey, Patricia taught me. And she says, Brad, never tell people I trained you because it'll ruin my reputation. <laughs> yes. Which true. I think is hilarious because... <laughs> She doesn't want to take credit for the way I speak because it's horrendous. In fact, she said, you tell him. You said if All right. When I first came in to consider doing business with Lightspeed yes. to design my online course, I was talking to the sales professional, and he said, oh, the president's going to come in and meet you. And you walked in, Brad, in your wonderful suit. And it was amazing. I couldn't believe the president is going to come to talk to me. Seeing you as you often are now with ripped jeans, I'm sure they're expensive ripped jeans, this? and needing the, the Brad Pitt needing a shave look. I know it's modern. But I don't think I would have done business with you. Now, see, that's what I want to drill into. Yeah. Because there's a lot of entrepreneurs, young sales professionals out in the world. And nowadays, you know, you see the Gary V's, you see all these people blowing up and successful. They're wearing the ripped jeans. They're wearing the... Okay, look, I'm not knocking success. Certainly, if you've done it, you've done it in your own way, that's absolutely fine. Well, but I didn't. See, I, I used to wear the suits. Until I reached a certain level. So the lesson I'm trying to teach people is it would have cost me your business if I were acting this yes. way in the past. Yes. Now, I remember years ago when women first came into sales, there was a very successful speaker who was had been outrageously successful in sales. And she had long, blonde, loose hair. And she said, I've made it so I can wear my hair this way. You're starting out. Don't do it. Yeah, because you want... So certainly the rules do change. Being British and being of a certain age, it's it's makes a difference. Yeah, absolutely. 